Hey, what's up, everybody? This is Adrian Hines, pastor of <clears throat> excuse me, Kingdom Connections MSC. And today is Friday, May the 17th, and I'm coming to you uh, with today's daily word of inspiration. Uh, basically, I want to, uh, if you guys missed the Bible study that we had last night, I want to uh, talk about the topic very briefly as far as what we discussed. And this is, um, although this may not seem like a word of inspiration, uh, it will encourage you to actually do the right thing. Last night, um, we, we had some technical difficulties as far as getting things started with the Bible study on time. We didn't get started till almost like 8.30. And so um, I started speaking on a topic and God just took it from there. Uh, we didn't really get into the topic that initially we wanted to talk about. And I started speaking about the authority of the word of God in the life of a believer, okay? And um, this word right here, this Bible, this Holy Bible is something um, that I place as the authority in my life. Notice I said the authority in my life. It's the first authority. It's the final authority in my life. And what I've realized is that uh, too many believers um, approach the word of God from a democratic mindset. And you cannot be successful in the kingdom of God with a democratic mindset, meaning you cannot choose and debate and decide what you want to follow, what you don't want to follow based off of your comfort level, based off of the sin issue that you have. Okay. Uh, one of the things that we must understand about the kingdom of God is that this is a real kingdom with a real king. And there are consequences for our direct disobedience to the word of God. Um, let me give you this scenario right here. Let's say we are, we live here in the United States. Most of us do, excuse me. We live here in the United States. And let's say this was an actual kingdom. And instead of President Barack Obama being president, he was actually king. Let's say uh, King Obama made a declaration, a decree, and whatever a king speaks, his word becomes law. So let's say he makes a declaration um, that you cannot cross the street with red shoes on. You can cross the street with any other color shoes on. Where I got that from, I don't know. But you cannot cross the street with red shoes on. And let's say I have red shoes, I have um, blue shoes, I have black shoes. But I say, I don't like what he says. I want to wear my red shoes today and I'm going to be walking across the street. So I'm going to do it. So I'm going to pick and choose what I want to follow from King Obama. And, and what will happen is he will sit, once he sees me in direct violation of his word, this is what happens in a real kingdom. OK, um, I understand that we may have challenges being in the Western Hemisphere because we don't fully understand what kingdom life is like. So here's what will happen. He will send his authorities to come and get me, his soldiers to come and get me. And then because I've directly disobeyed him, violated his word, violated the law of the land. Guess what will happen to me? It's off with the head. It's off with the head, guys. And this is what happens literally in a real kingdom when the citizens disobey the law of the land. Either that or they're thrown in jail. They are punished for that. However, in the body of Christ, and I don't know where this came from, yet we, we think we can pick and choose what we want to follow. And guys, I'm here to tell you right now, you're probably experiencing the, the hell that you're facing in life right now because you're approaching the word of God from a democratic mindset. Meaning you have to do an inventory of yourself and see where you're following the word of God, where you're not following the word of God. Because if you're not following the word of God, even if you don't understand it, even if you uh, uh, say, God, um, I don't understand. God, uh, this is uncomfortable. Uh, Father, I need your help with this. That's cool. It's when you say, you know what? I see what the word of God says, but it don't really mean all that. It, you know, I don't think it takes all that. Let, let me change it up a little bit and do what I want to do. And the Bible says you can't add anything to his word or take anything away. Uh, I think it was David said in the book of Psalm that um, your word have I hid in my heart so that I don't sin against you. And so I'm here to tell you right now, you must follow the word of God exactly. That's what kingdom citizens do. We hide the word of God in our heart so that we don't sin against God the Father. Now, are we going to sin? Of course, we're going to sin. As long as we're here in this fleshly body, we're going to sin. However, there is a different approach. There's a different mindset of a kingdom citizen that says, I will follow the law of the land, which is the constitution of the kingdom of God. I will follow that law. And guess what? My life is blessed because of it. 
You, you, you will be amazed when you make a decision to follow the word of God, how things begin to open up. It doesn't mean that the devil's not going to attack you. It doesn't mean that you're going to experience setbacks and things of that nature. Here's what it does mean. It means that you are victorious in everything that you do. We are more than conquerors through faith in Jesus Christ. If Jesus was able to follow the law of God and speak the word and speak the word and follow the word and speak the word and follow the word and speak the word, speak the word he was victorious in everything that he did. That's what the kingdom is about. The kingdom says that, look, those things that used to harass you in life, I've now flipped the tables and now you can start harassing life, which means we have the victory in everything, but you will not have the victory if you don't follow the word of God. My brothers and sisters, you cannot pick and choose. You cannot pick and choose what you want to follow. The Bible is the inerrant word of God. It's inspired by the Holy Spirit. Live by it. Jesus said, man cannot live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeds out of the mouth of God. Live by the word of God. You will be blessed, which means you will be empowered to prosper in everything that you do in life. So hopefully this has been able to help you. Uh, I pray that it has. Please make sure that you comment on this video, like it, and share it on Facebook as well as YouTube. Uh, if you're ever in the Atlanta area, if you live in the Atlanta area and you're looking for a church home, um, I invite you to come check us out. Um, this is not the church home. This is just the office area of uh, uh, where, I, um, where I live. Uh, but come check us out. The address is 3390 Venture Parkway. Duluth, Georgia, 30096. We meet in the Extended Stay Hotel uh, right behind Gwinnett Place Mall. So take care.